here is the nice architecture of the sailors restaurant Sandham nice roof design construction and here are flags maybe they are sort of for a person or for a boat club or for a boat say half models painted on uh, fabric cutter 1885 and uh, endeavor 1937 yeah I have the ender pearl from Oslo accurat <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they are uh, Tevlingens största boat 76 foot Vänta vad han sa på masten, vad var det, 45 eller något sånt meter. De var fullföljt, kom någonstans på, jag tror så sjunde plats i sin klass och 22 totalt. Ingen sjösjuka, men i det hårda vädret så hade de överbrytande sjö. Så man kan förstå de båtarna som här ett fribord som är ja ran för ex till exempel den har väl ett fribord som är ingenting jämfört med det här den har bara ett, några fot ja en imponerande jag ska, vi kan gå ner och titta för det från ett ögonblick här ja här ser du Ender Pearl Holmstrands Segelförening, maybe it's called Sail for Rain. Yeah, an imposing boat, I think the freeboard here at the bow is about two meters. Oh, here is Ballad, one of the classic yachts. Here is IQ, the first boat to finish, a Volvo Ocean 65, I saw when I followed them at times they were making 22 knots, I think they have a swing keel which gives them extra speed, the boat is pretty level and which gives speed. So they might end going still faster in the real strong wind if they had some downwind there. Let's go to the bow. If she wants, you can try to sit boat uh, today. Go out and in, we're about to steer back around 4 o'clock so you can get off the boat about 4.30. So everybody is able to take the help for, for 5 to 10 minutes. So maybe longer if you want, if there's time. Yeah, if you want. The second thing we need your help for, because we have to push the sails, is to use these grinders. We're using those to operate all the winches. They're actually one of the main things we need to operate the boat. And Sip, who is going to start this pit, the pit is the place where all the lights come out in the, in the cockpit, and he will explain a little bit how the grinding is working and what kind of commandos we're using, so you know exactly what we expect from you when something goes a little less good or when you make a mistake or, or how to operate. See, tell them. Here is one of the center boards, very narrow. Here is the bow. This is another impress. Princess, impressive bow. I think they have some people on board, uh, sort of amateurs, and will take them for a sail. They said they were going to maybe steer a bit. 
Yeah, fantastic boats, the Volvo Ocean 65s. I think they're preparing to hoist the main, the man the winches and put them in first gear. The gear change button is apparently at the bottom of the pedestal. I haven't sailed any one of these big ones. Uh, the biggest I think is uh, 37 feet. That would be no pedestals, that would be just an ordinary. Okay, let's try. And don't start too quick. Okay, because they will, can't handle it on the boat, so just medium tempo. Yeah? Okay. Ready to ride? Your first gear and ride. Now it's the headsail coming up. Now look, we got six winches here. This is not the heavy work. I think this lad is going to attach the top of the main to the car on the mast. It's all heavy stuff. He's using a ribbon there, yeah, look. Winch it in. Not in the roaring forties or what is it? And you couldn't do this. Here is practically no wind. Yeah. Uh, they're preparing to leave. They haven't got the main in place. So I heard some noise up there. Not yet, no. Here you see the size of the bow. Now one lady is missing his, his sleigh and said, come on board. <laughs> Every, everyone is, everybody is on board. Sail not yet fixed the top. They are heading out on the open sea. Now oh, they're heading upwind here to make it easier to get the top of the mainsail attached to its car. Which uh, we can hoist the main. Yeah. 